Genesis 23, 1 through 6. Sarah lived 127 years. Sarah died in Kairos, Arba, present-day Hebron, in the land of Canaan. Abraham mourned for Sarah and wept. So they were married a long time. She lived an old age, 127. He, he knew her his entire life. She was with him through everything. There was a strong connection with him and his wife. And he mourned. You know, it's common and acceptable to mourn death of a loved one. And it's a hard thing to get through. We just got to trust in God to get through it. And Abraham had to keep following after God. Even though he lost his wife, he had to keep following after God. And eventually, Abraham was comforted. That doesn't mean he didn't care if he lost Sarah anymore. It just meant he was not depressed, not down about it anymore. That's verse 1 through 2. Verse 3 and 4. Then Abraham got up from the mor from morning his dead wife and spoke to the Hittites. I know I am only an outsider here among you, but sell me a burial plot so that I can bury my dead decently. So he's wanting to buy her burial ground. And this is respectful. He's respecting her and putting her in a place of honoring her life by burying her, which this funeral symbolizes. It, 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 it ain't that his mourning stopped. He was probably still mourning her death. It's just he knew he had to take care of something because of her. And she deserved to be buried properly. And he was going to take care of that. This doesn't mean his mourning stopped because he did it. It just meant instead, in, he was going to take care of this while he was mourning. He, he Put away just sitting and weeping and started taking care of things. That doesn't mean he wasn't sad about her death anymore, because he was. Most likely. He was sad. He had to have been. It just means he needed to take care of this, and he knew he needed to take care of this. Verse 5 and 6. The Hittites responded. Um, hold on. So he's wanting to buy land. Here's an interesting thing. God promised him this land. But he's wanting to buy land for this. And the Bible never says this is bad. He's honoring his wife's life by burying her. He's being an honorable man by buying the land to do such. The Hittites responded, Why? You're no more mere outsider. They had respect for him. The world's going to have respect for Sometimes, because of the way we live. They may hate us when we make them look bad, but in times of need, most likely that we'll be the ones they turn to. Here with us. You're a prince of God. Okay, so they recognized his relationship with the Lord. The world may do that. The world may come to us to ask for prayer because of that. Bury your dead wife in the best of our burial sites. None of us will refuse you a place for burial. You know, he is accepted by the community. As Christians, we may be, but we may also face rejection and hate because of who we are. Most likely, it will be rejection. But there will be a few that see that we got character. We are who we are. No respect.